Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a brand new episode in the tutorial series called With a Little Help from Max for Life. And this time I have a tip for you for live performance for the times when it's kind of difficult to put everything into one live set, either because it becomes too big and it uses too many computer resources, or the programming effort would be too much or do you just want to be able to kind of have easier control and you play just songs instead of an actual continuous live set. And this device is called Load Set Simple. It's by Stray from Native Control, who you might already know from really cool control surface, MIDI remote scripts like uh, CliffX, and there's lots more. Have a look at uh, Native Control. Links are included below for the native control website and also directly to the device itself on maxforlife.com and I've been using that for playing my songs because I, I at first I had everything separately and I got annoyed with like opening new sets and back then there wasn't any Max for Life so I ended up going like okay well it's called live set because you're supposed to have all the song in all the songs in one live set but since I also do live looping with overdubs and everything things kind of bec easily become quite complicated with the setup and it's just a lot of programming um, that leaves me too little time to re to actually rehearse and so I went back to having one set per song once I found this uh, very very useful little Max for Life device which is free and what it does is basically it simply offers a mini mappable button that once it's pressed loads the life set that you already had set that is supposed to be the next life set um, and it's really fast and convenient. If you haven't selected a live set yet, you can press on select and then, you know, navigate to the next live set in your set list that is supposed to be opened with that. I already have done that. And then you can go into MIDI or key mapping mode. I'm going to go into MIDI mapping mode. And since it's a set already used, it's already mapped, but I'm going to map it to something else because I actually had that mapped to my to a button on my Wiimote and I haven't got that set up right now. So I'm just going to take this and delete it and then map this to my LPK25, just one key, the C2. And I can leave the MIDI mapping mode and I would map it to the same control for every life set that I want to have in the set list. And then you simply always select the next life set and make sure that it's the right order. And then you can just go quickly through that and I can just show you how it works. So I'm going to press C2 now. And as you can see, it simply loads the next set without bothering you with do you want to save the set and you know there's no need to actually go back to the computer which is great because I like having my computer to the side or behind me so I don't look at it and I you know don't look like I'm reading my emails or whatever yeah well I hope you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye